and hopefully getting that win with Lucia. Or Lucia. Lucia, I think they're calling her. Hey, freak. Enough with the ugly dancing. Better tell us a story. As you wish, sir. But freak, huh? I'll tell you a story about freaks that you'll surely relate to. Perhaps you'll even find that we aren't very different. Before the Ash Curse came, the outcasts were the most feared gang of brigands. The world despised them, and they repaid it with twice the hatred. They robbed and killed the rich and the poor alike. The gang was unstoppable, corrupted by wealth, fortune, and impunity. The outcasts descended into madness. They now wished for an artifact granting unmatched power. The Ash Box. They embarked into the Valley of Death to recover the box. And atop the valley's peak, they found its owner, Lady Death. Yeah, watch out, still in early access. Be, and you may have the box, she said. A reward without a fight. Surely the fools agreed. However, none of them wanted to share the prize. Their strength and madness matched exactly, and they were sure to kill each other. But one tiny thing broke the balance. The most pathetic of the outcasts, the weakling, grabbed the ash box. I shall have the power, but he couldn't handle it. The box slipped out of his hand and broke into pieces. The cloud of ashes arose, corrupting every being, defiling air and soil, but most of all, corrupting the outcasts. Each in their own way, they paid the price for their hubris. That is the world we live in. And until the curse is lifted, we are all freaks, sir. Well, well, so you call us freaks, Bard. You are yet to see the worst of us. Let's show them, fellas. Mm. <laughs> D4s are hard to hold. Yeah, that's fair enough. There's a new event to this silent shadow. I'm gonna have to see what this is. Oh, now I want to play that instead of this. <laughs> what does this do? Adds a set of four cards. Unseen strike shadow spot. We are legion. Not dagger. Add Sly Skin Shadow Assassin. Does that mean we have to play as Sly? Uh, means we have to play as Sly for that. Can we do it with Lucia instead? Huh. What does it have on the front that you go in from there? We should we can check out the silent assassin, right? A silent shadow? Why not? Yeah, you play as one of them. In and in an attempt to redeem the world. Alright, let's do this. Let's do the Silent Shadow. Except I'm going to do it as Lucia. Adventure is fine. Since the dawn of time, people with a magical gift had a target on their backs. We instill fear, and fear breeds malice. I learned to conceal my talent the hard way. I trusted my fiancé and revealed my secret. And that same day, I was laying in the mud surrounded by a mob of bloodthirsty loons. 
Rusty pitchforks and blazing torches pointed at my face. That day, I killed for the first time. I managed to escape and join the outcasts, a gang of hardened pariahs like myself. Hmm. Wherever our righteous anger took us, we settled the scores in blood. When we broke that damn box and released the Ash Curse, the simple folk blamed the mages. The witch hunt ensued, and a week hadn't passed before I ended up at the stake. I was burned to the cheerful cries of peasants, but those turned into screams of terror as I suddenly rose from the ashes. The curse gave me power. It made me one with the flames. The flames of retribution that swallowed my offenders. The curse gave me power, but it played a twisted joke on me. The pain I suffered at that stake, it stayed and defiles every moment since my rebirth. The prophet, he found me on his own. He assures that Lady Death can rid me of pain. <laughs> if this is true, I will make her do that. She's hot. He asks me yeah, to nice. kill Lady Death. Good joke. And he says that <laughs> it will break the curse. This world, it's full of scoundrels. And I'd enjoy watching their torment. But if regaining my peace means ridding them from the curse as well, screw it. Let it be so. Yeah. We've arrived. The Forbidden Grove. We'll have to stop here and pitch camp. The curse defiled these once sacred woods with hideous mutations. There is a lurking danger behind every tree here. A werebore, a giant rat, or any other beastly abomination. The ancestor is the ruler of these lands. The father and the king of all beasts. The curse changed him. And I suspect not for the better. He's picked up our scent and he won't let us pass. We have but a couple of days before he tracks down our camp. You must prepare to fight him. Okay. <clears throat> so our basic camp. Complete with a Slybox coffee cup. We got the new consumables. Okay, so we got potions. You can only buy three a day. What do we got? Aspen steak. From the start of your next turn, the undead cannot use death. The effects last until the end of battle. How many have we got? Nine. Okay, apply stun on an opponent. That's, that could be pretty good. Uh, increase your crit by five until the end of battle. Restore two random cards from the ash pouch. Okay. <clears throat> Banner of Octavius. The damage of your strike cards is based on the total strength of all humans until the end of battle. Interesting. Apply a bleed. Deal 10 damage AoE. Apply a burn and heal a random ailment. Okay, not too bad. Alright, so we're looking at 12 gems for that. For him, four chalices was when we come back. And for her, is it four leaves? <clears throat> Do I care about this fourth one? Not really. <clears throat> we'll just keep spinning the wheel. Woo! Is that good enough? All right, so we do one of that. <clears throat> oh, what are the choices? Here we go. Deal four damage to an opponent, copy all the burns applied on the target, and apply them on other opponents. That seems okay. Deal three damage to opponent, deal three extra damage for every burn applied to it. Okay, I think that's what we're after, right? The wheel should make all the decisions. I agree. Alright, so we actually have that available to us. Yep. We have those recipes that I don't 
Do we actually want those? We might actually want the burn one. I don't think we want the Tone of Envy, though. Um, we'll hold on to that for now. So, four chalices and we come back pretty much immediately. Uh, and 12 gems. Okay. So the map is looking... It's alright. Might just do a loop. Uh, I don't want to loop through there in case of ambush. We can probably just loop around this way. Yeah. Whoa. We get a boar at the beginning. Applies bleed, but we can have a heal going. So that'll negate that. Um, we can also apply a burn and then do that. Which will give us our f cards played, will it? No, we put the burn on, we hold on to that, we fireball. That'll negate the bleeds the boar's going to give us. And we might as well put a burn on him. No, put a burn on him. <laughs> because I'm going to... Um, hit him with the, the Phoenix Torch. Rat's bigger than the boss, pretty close. It doesn't matter here because we've only got one card. He just stunned me. What a jerk. Okay, he's he's making the bleeds worse, but we're kind of healing him up. Kinda. Uh, so we're gonna we want to renew with the ash pack. Because we're going to renew five cards, which cost five rest points normally, at the cost of 20 health, which only costs two rest points. And ideally, we'd like to try and see our... Um, our Phoenix. Yep, cool. So we'll let the burn kill him. And then we don't have to heal, bring back a card. Uh, and, uh, we can craft these, but we don't get any. Oh, do we want to get ignition? Copy burns to other opponents. I mean, it deals for damage, which isn't much, but. If we get something else with lots of burns, it's pretty good. Oh, we can't craft it, we don't have enough ash. It goes that. And we don't have the meditate. This is a perfect example of when you meditate, right? Whoa. Oh, look at the ooze. He's going stealthy next turn. That's poop. Right, so let's... It's... This is kind of weak at the moment. Like, deal an extra three, so it's just deal six damage. I wonder if we just want to get rid of that for now. Um, and not renew it. Um, until we get other burn cards. Uh, sort of what's the word I'm looking for? Synergize. At the end of your turn you have 10% chance to gain a random helmet. Hopefully that's not permanent. And he's stealth, so we can't do anything. Yay, and he's gonna apply a poison. I can't do this.
He's getting stealth again. He doesn't do much. Can be dispelled by any healing effect. We have healing. Do we sit on this? No, we've got cards we want to bring back. cold and he's stealth stealthy boy is not fun is he being stealth again jerk no. oh we crit him That's okay. <laughs> we will want this, just not yet. Um, let's renew cards. I don't know if I want to renew this one. I think I'm going to leave it there. I think I kind of want to leave the, the burn on there down there as well. I don't mind bringing it back with the ash packed, but for the moment it just doesn't do that much. Like it's it's ten da well if if the fight goes long enough it's ten damage but it just doesn't. So I'm gonna leave them in there until we get more burns. Okay, we need to take. He's releasing spores. We need to kill this guy. And we're going to be healing. Yeah, fight will last long enough, I guess. Okay. Reduce my max HP. You joik. We get a crit. No. I wonder if it's worth holding onto that and playing it after we burn one of these, so maybe we don't get the burn back. I'm gonna play that later. Two of them now, though. <clears throat> yeah, I want to wait until there's a chance that I can get all five fireballs back. Because the other cards are slower than these ones anyway. And at the moment, we're playing a Blazing Torch every turn. And we're pretty much healing for <laughs> almost the damage he's doing. So I'll play the Fireball next turn. And then Ash Pact. Um, and then finish with the Blazing Torch. That gives us... Don't crit. <laughs> uh, I think we've got no like we go That's kind of funny. We're full health though. So we don't need to um when you get played by the strats. Um, <clears throat> I think we just take this chest and then go dungeon. Maybe 
go back town. Oh, we can go around first. I haven't bought any yet, Headwind. I had a look at them. I'm debating whether I want to take a chest or if I want to do, like, partial lap. I just don't know if I'm strong enough for the dungeon yet. And I don't want to commit. I don't want to commit! I think I just want regular fights for the moment. Alright, so the clamper, every third attack is deflected back. And I don't know if um, fire counts for that. Um, so we're going to want to try and get the blazing torch back if that's what we're taking. We'll get the heal going. May as well get it going now. It'll be a slightly dead um, turn on that, but I'm okay with it. I just want to have a good play. And we want to see... Oh, that's right, we got that. Right, so we take this one back. Ah, uh, Adventurer. I was going to put it up to Marta and then I'm like, no. Let's just... Stick with, um, Sturdy Old Adventurer. Do we want to pull these back now? Have what happened last time? I might do a hard, like the, um, the Marta one in the future. Just to check it out. So this one's going back. <laughs> so let's just take three damage. There you go. Um, it's, I don't know if it's worth re putting that regen on. Crabby. Now, last time this happened, I end up critting. So don't crit. Good, don't crit. Good. We've got all our cards so we can heal. Good. That worked out much better than last time. Ash Storm? Ooh, okay. What's that? That's gonna be Ash. I want the recipes though. I think the recipes are way better. One, two, three. We're going to head back this way as well, are we? Or we just go that way? Did you destroy that? How about increase your strength by one for each burn applied on you? Hmm. We'll probably end up getting rid of that because we don't put burns on ourselves. Unless, the, unless there's some new mechanic where we put burns on ourselves. Okay, I think now we go to the dungeon. Although we can buy stat building stuff. 
If I had four chalices, I'd go back. That really sucks, not having the chalices, though. So. We have two keys. We can go that way. Let's do that. Okay, man, this spore's got 40 health. That's pretty bad. Um, he's gaining stealth. I don't think I have... Oh, I do have a burn somewhere. I hate those, man. We can kill one thing in... What is he going to do to us? He doesn't do that much. I think we kill the spore. I just love the concept of the, the of burning your cards and then having to manage your um, health outside of combat, like pretty much completely. I just really like that that pattern. No point returning when they have two cards in the deck. Felt so bad. Um, we're just gonna sit here having like a, a heal fest. Let's get him. Oh wow, it's so Okay, well, that's nothing. Oh, you got a heal on you. Draw my um, GP card. Okay, good. Um, I'd make that if I had something that... Well, I might make it just because we're renewing those two. And we're having one point of heal. That's 94. That costs Ash and a rest point, does it? Yeah. <laughs> so we make it now since we've got the rest point to spare. Um, and we're probably going to sell those, so we'll just grab the heal. That's a leaf. So we do have business back in town. Just. Apply Pyrobomb. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> the start of a character's turn, Pyrobomb deals three damage to the target. Next lasts for four turns. On the fourth turn, the Pyrobomb detonates. Yeah. I like Pyrobomb. It's a gem and a thing? Okay. So 12 gems for... Um, hmm. 